Have you ever been hurt? Do you know pain? Well, I know pain. <laughs> no, seriously, I actually know pain. I know pain so well, in fact, that, that I know pain's last name, Perry. Pain, Aloysius Perry. I know him so well that we have dinner together. He came by my house the other day. I cooked spaghetti and garlic bread, and with him, he brought this alabaster box, which he broke across my heart and spoon-fed me my tears. And so much I cried that the sodium made my blood pressure rise, and he took that broken box that consequently caused my broken heart, and he said, here, you put the pieces back together. I didn't think that was fair. Because I'm looking at the pieces of this box and the pieces of my heart, and I can't tell them apart. So I dropped them and picked up my notebook and pen and tried to use the leaves and ink to make mortar in my words as bricks. But instead of fixing my broken heart, I built a wall to protect it. And it had a door, but I wouldn't give pain the key. But all this poet's notebooks and all this poet's pens couldn't put this broken poet back together again. So I blamed pain. I even made fun of his middle name. Then I saw himself in his own eyes as he explained that this wasn't his fault because that alabaster boxer was my heart and he was merely a byproduct obligated to show his face because he actually got my heart from fate. And I know fate. I know fate so well in fact that I know fate's last name. Franklin. Fate Maluka Franklin. And I invited him to breakfast because I needed answers. I needed answers like Dee, the dancer who went by the stage name Destiny. She sat across from me in this booth at the Waffle House and I overheard her telling this cat she met in the strip club why she had to have this type of life when all she wanted was to be with her son. So over a bowl of Captain Crunch with a side of raisin toast, I asked Fate why. Why did you give my heart the pain? And you could have heard the grapes turn into the same raisins and that toast, it got so quiet in there. And I declare, I thought I saw tears swell up in his eyes and with a look that said it's the end, he explained, Tavisa don't exist. Only the past 36 years is your imaginary friend. See, you gave me a place in your life as a kid so you wouldn't be held responsible for what you did. So when things didn't go your way, you could just say, Oh, that was just fate. <laughs> so you could probably guess I didn't like the answer he gave. So I made fun of his middle name. I even sang it like a little song. And after the third chorus, he was gone. And then it was just me. I was confused. And I used to being confused. I needed peace. So I paged him. Peace. Oh yeah, I know peace. I know peace so well in fact that I know peace's last name. Well, actually, Peace is his last name, because his first and middle are Prince of. And the next thing that happened was like that scene in the movie, don't be a minister South Central while drinking your juice in the hood where the two guys are standing next to each other, talking to each other on their cell phones, because when Jesus, that's Peace, uh, answered, he startled me because he was standing right there the whole time. And as I cried over the pieces of my broken heart, he wiped my tears away with his hair, soaking his locks, and he held me. Y'all, he held me, and then he pulled back, took my face in his hands, kissed my forehead, looked me dead in the eye, and said, son, I'm gonna tell you like I told your boy Blues, Tavis, you're gonna be okay. Then he went on to tell me as he held me that I didn't have to tear down that wall around my heart, but he did need the key. So I gave it to him and he opened the door, picked my heart up off the floor, bits of it falling through the holes in his hands, but he caught them too and put them all into his side where those soldiers pierced him through on that cross on which he died. And then he pulled it out whole. I said, but Jesus, I can still see the cracks. And he said, they don't go away. And I asked him about the pain that remained and my fate still in question. And he said, son, the cracks and the pain are there to remind you that you're still human and you're gonna have to let go of fate because only your destiny is real. So when your heart is broken and on the floor in pieces it lies and so real is the pain that you can cook for it and give it a middle and last name, you remember this refrain. The Prince of Peace was always there. Just let him behind the wall. And if you don't know him, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead because the potter wants to put you back together again.